We would like to do the fans and the windows first, but uh, they're in back order, so we're gonna go ahead and lay the, the sound dead here. Kill Matt. A properly clean and degreased surface part of the installation of deadener has to be dry and clean. It won't be properly managed and will not last long if you apply the material on a wet or dirty surface. And now we're about to hit it. I forgot my scissors, so welcome back. Got my scissors and also got one other thing that Fallon helped me think of. She's she's currently in New York with her family. She's helping from afar. Um, she told me to get an expo. I didn't even think about this. It's really beneficial. What you can do to preserve some of your kill mat is to think of the areas that you're going to be installing your fans. So I, I did a rough little sketch around here. Going to be having a big window right there. We're going to have a bunk window there. Way that's going to help me preserve the kill mat. Take it a lot further. Uh, make sure I don't use more than I need to. All right, a little update here. We got one wheel well done, two wheel wells done. We're about to lay out the rest of them on the ground just to kind of get a feel for how many more we have before we start just going. And then we get halfway through and have X amount of empty space not utilized. The wheel wells are the loudest, so we want to make sure that we definitely hit that every square inch that you could. And count out what your space looks like, how much uh, ceiling space, how much wall space, how much floor space you have prior to starting to lay all this because i just did it very thankful i did because i literally had to move like one area to a different area just to make sure i had enough think out logistically how much square footage you have to cover how many mats you have so two is all we bought and two seems like it's gonna work and just to show you real quick what i've done i laid like a rough floor plan with all the mats that i have remaining after doing the wheel wells i have these walls planned out i have them stack behind the wheel well. These walls, keeping in mind the window for this wall, doesn't take too much because I am gonna have a big window right here, but I've mapped that out, put my designated pieces down here. And then for the remaining ceiling space, don't forget about that, I almost did. I put it in the front seat, so that way whenever I'm done laying all these out, I know what I have and I'll at least get some kind of coverage on every side. Now what I've heard with Kill Matt is there are diminishing returns so you want to focus on the wheel wells if you want to buy more there's definitely not going to be any harm in doing that i just figured you know two is going to do us justice the most important part is to make sure og dog does not get too hot and now we're about to hit it That about wraps it up. We uh, have done the whole van and kill mat. From the floor to the ceiling, wheel wells, we did pretty heavily. Floor, relatively heavily. Yeah, there it is.